Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Um, just to show you guys how the water quality is looking. Took on the net off. Water quality has improved a lot. Fish are loving it. Hungry as usual. All doing fine. I've got the fish eating now at around 100 grams a day. The weather's um, changed a little bit. It's started to cool down now. Temperature of the pond has dropped. So giving them less food now. Water has improved a lot. Um, I can pretty much say like crystal clear you can see all the way to the bottom now this end is two and a half foot deep and all the fish are always following me around as I walk around the pond look here they come this is the deeper end which is just under four and a half foot deep. As I've mentioned, still gonna be taking out those rocks there. I haven't got around to that. But as you can see, so now that I've removed the net off as well, the water quality is really, really nice, really clear. I've got no ammonia problem. No nitrate problem, no nitrate problem. pH is all fine. I'm always checking those. At least minimum twice a week. The microscopes has finally has arrived. So I'm gonna be taking some scrapes off of the fishies possibly some point today if I get around to it if not that's going to be my first chore in the morning and I can also test out the um, flexible bowl that I bought as well which I'm eager to get out the back here is getting a clean every two days and what, what I mean by a clean on the top tier I'm just literally changing the filter floss that, as I showed you guys in the previous videos that I put on as the second layer the first layer is the 400 micron mesh and then after that is the filter floss just change that every two days I've slowed down with the cleaning of the Nexus I'm cleaning that as well now every two to three days since the feeding has gone down and the weather's cooled down less muck in the Nexus and also since I added the filter floss into the Nexus has cleared out many finds of out from the pond and the Nexus ain't working as much as it was now, working with the cleaning. So that's better for me as well, less cleaning. Everything looking fine, fish are happy. Filter systems are working all fine. Water's improved. And coming back to the end of the garden, finally decided on what I'm going to be making with the timber frame that I built I was going to make it into a flower bed but we decided to make it into a wildlife little pond 
I've already placed the underlay in there uh, and put the liner in as you can see started already filling it up I'm just going to fill it up a little piece more and stretch it to the edge it's just about fitted it's a little bit short on the left hand side not short but it's just about flapping over and as you can see I've just got the underlay here which is not underlay it's, to be honest with you it's the filter floss that I've got I've just put that under there and dropped the liner here that I had laying around in the garden so I haven't purchased a new one um, drop that in there it's filling it up I've put the rock in there I think it's called the mammoth piece something like that I'm not too sure the rock in there anyway um, which is already drilled purchased it drilled I've had this for a few years so I thought I'd make use of it instead of just moving it around from there to there in the garden um, raised it off the ground a little bit so I can get the pipe work into there plenty extra pipe in there which I'm going to cut down I'm just putting everything into play the pump in there is an Owaza pump and it's a 3600 sorry 3400 liters per hour and the wattage is everything on there as you can see good pumps these are the wires are pretty much a lot of this very good reliable stuff just pop that there for now so i've already put the pump in run the pipe up a little piece so just gonna cut those down paint them up them down cut the liner into the shape around the edges I've already taken out some of the plants that was in the pond the floating lettuces and I had a little bucket which had that lily already in there and those bamboo kind of looking things I'm just gonna place them into there it's gonna be like a wildlife pond so hopefully we might attract some frogs which I have had in the main pond before um, you might get some newts some lizards or bits of wild, nice wildlife keep the kids busy keep them entertained so that's what we're doing with that and that's what we've done so I'll just quickly finish up around the edges and show you the final look of how it's all going to look and we take it from there see you in a bit okay all done all finished off all painted off nice little finish there placed a couple of plants maples here and there tried to make it look pretty took every single plant out of the main pond placed it all into here now edges are not perfect but they're fine it's just the wild life pond so looking all good I'll just switch the pump on so you guys can see um, how it all looks all in action. And there you have it. Nice, pretty little wildlife pond. I've stopped um, filling it up for the minute because I'm literally doing my water change for the main pond. So this will have to wait once the main pond is topped up. I can then fill it right up. And it's all done, all complete.
this is the microscope that I've purchased. Um, it's a Novex, made in Holland. And it's got four times, 10 times, and 40 times zoom. It was 120 pounds, just under 120 pounds. It arrived in this packaging with just basic instructions and it was in a foam like this so once I'm done with it I'll just pop it back into there and store it away for next time use. I purchased these um, glass covers and also these ones um, didn't come with these I had to purchase these separately I think these were like two three quid each three four quid each or something like that purchased these as well online same as this it's got an um, LED light at the bottom it's a plug-and-play and also it's battery as well I don't know if most all of them are like that but you can also put battery at the bottom of it so it doesn't have to be connected to the mains and you can if you want to use it outside you can do um, I'm gonna be just plugging it in and coming inside and taking it from there so this is the microscope so we've got this so we can now start taking scrapes and hopefully I can find out if there is anything or not hopefully there isn't but this is something koi keepers must have so I've just recently purchased mine so and it's got these little metal things here which will hold the glass in place from it moving around and sliding about so that's pretty good as well so yeah this is the microscope okay let's put this into use right aqua forte flexible bowl let's open it up and see what we've got in there. Okay, it comes with some sort of rod things. Comes with a patch in case of um, a tear, so a little re recovery piece. Bag. The rods are like this, and they just go in like that. Either sides, bottom or top. And I believe it will go like this. the tops will slot into these here so it's giving it support like that just quickly do these like this get them all in 
boom, boom, boom. Some cool stuff. To be honest with you, I thought once you opened it up, it would just kind of pop up with springs in it. I didn't think it'd come with legs like this. But still, it's okay. So let's just get this one in. Let me just do this, get all this in, and I won't hold you watching me put all these in. So basically, all these go in like this. Okay, filled out with about 100 to 100 litres of water. And to be honest with you, I think it holds more than 250 litres of water all the way up to the rim. Um, possibly 300, 350 litres. So, but a really good bit of kit. I'm actually impressed. It was a little bit funny at first to put it up like that because, as I said, when I took it out of the bag, um, I think it was just going to kind of pop up itself and then like a flexi kind of strings on it. But hey, it's no problem. It is where it is. Still good. Just simple legs just to stick through those gaps here. Pin them into there and that's that. And I can now show you the zip as well now that I've got the water in there. And it's much more sturdy. I'll just zip it up like this. If you get my drift. And now you ain't got to worry about the fish jumping out or anything like that. So, good bit of kit. Three different sizes. So, check it out. Have a look at them. Flexible pop up bowls. So, let's get the fish in. So, couldn't find nothing on the scrapes. Was looking in them really hard. Did not see anything move. So, I'm not going to be treating the pond with anything. Going to leave it alone as it is for now. And see what happens from there. So, everything's alright. I hope. Scrapes come back clean. All good. Now I know exactly how many fish I've got in here because I've literally took out every single one. Didn't scrape them all. But yeah, and that's that. So before I end this show, I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I've got quite a few subscribers in the last week. Really much appreciated from you guys. Uh, it gives me a boost to do more videos and get them out there for you guys to see. So thank you very much. All the support. So if you like this uh, channel, if you like the video, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs down. Either thumbs is good. If you can, if you like to subscribe to the channel, please do so. You can share and like that. Share and like. That'd be great. So thank you very much for me. Take care and all be safe.